for us to, you know, get get our catches, get an offense. So we just got to do a really good job stepping off, just passing and catching. And I think once we do that and make them guard all of our actions, it'll be fun. Yeah, they're a different team than Gonzaga, a very defensive-minded team. You'll be facing a, a guard Ziggler. Maybe wasn't 100% first time around. Give me your take on maybe that matchup with him today. Yeah, no, he's an unbelievable player. I mean, he's in the All-American category. Um, I mean, he's been around for a while. He's a really good defensive player. And, I mean, it's just it's going to be tough. So, I mean, it's just... Yeah. us handling the ball and just going from there. How are you going to be able to play off what you did maybe personally yesterday? The numbers were just off the charts. Pretty remarkable stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to go out and just play me. I mean, there's no, I, mean, I can't, you know, just go out there and predict what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to go out there and play with my instinct and just whatever happens, happens. This team feels like it's on a mission. It certainly seems to be. I mean, you guys came off the court yesterday, no celebrating, no jumping around. Oh, yeah, I mean, we haven't won yet. We, we got three games to go, so I think that's just our mindset. And, I mean, obviously each game is important, so, I mean, we're just focusing on this one, and once that happens, just go from there. How much are you enjoying this one this March compared to maybe what happened here? Yeah, I mean, we're obviously excited with all the wins we have so far, but, I mean, we're not done yet. So we, we got a huge game tomorrow, and we just got to focus on that. Last question, what has Matt meant to you um, He's one of the few coaches that hasn't gotten to the Final Four. Everybody's rooting for a guy like this because he means so much to the game and to Purdue. Yeah, I mean, he does it the right way. And he's truthful, he's honest, I mean, he's a good guy, and he just, I mean, he, he deserves it. Thank you. Hey, Braden, just that same question I asked Fletcher at the press conference. When you look at your game-by-game -game numbers, a lot of the games when you've shot the fewest free throws or some of your more efficient games offensively, is there something you said for that, that the game's just not stopping every two minutes? I mean, it's just it's just how the game flows. I mean, I don't think there's really – we look at it like that. I think it's just if teams are fouling Zach or not, I mean, I mean, you kind of have to or else he's going to score. So, I mean, it's just – depends on that. Great. There was a transition three that uh, I think it was Hickman who got into it. Fletcher kind of looked like he lost him. You got, you got on him, you got Matt got on him. It was one play, but I mean, how, how much do you feel like it's everyone's responsibility and, and maybe you feel an extra responsibility to the whole guys? Yeah, I mean, that's my job as a leader and that's coach's job as a coach. I mean, that's just what it is. And I think having other players that are able to take kind of leadership like that and take a little bit of coaching and to get yelled at and respond correctly because like I mean that's the same thing if I messed up I don't want him to get on get on me for it um so I mean just him understanding what we were talking about and him just handling it well and just moving on to the next play. Great. Not only have you played Tennessee this season they've never been to a final four this program hasn't been to one since 1980 with everything at stake you know, how much would it mean to get it done tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge game, um, obviously, for both programs. Um, I mean, it's going to be huge either way. Um, I think just to get Coach Paint there is kind of our biggest goal because I, mean, I think he deserves it out of anybody, and he's just been unlucky. So it would be really huge for us. What do you like to, to watch teams get fatigued as they're trying to guard Zach Eady over the course of like 40 minutes? And how do you all take advantage? Yeah, I mean, I think – once we get kind of deep into stops and their bigs are a little bit tired, um, we're able to kind of push that ball and it opens up a lot of things. And if we're making shots, and it's going to make the guards can guard us more and then beat it to Zach, and it's going to be tough for them because they're tired or they're going to have to foul, which is what happened last game. So. How much different is he from last year? Just his touch around the rim, what he does defensively, just his first skill set. I mean, yeah, he's going to be a two-time national player of the year. So, I mean, I uh, He's just improved so much in every aspect. I mean, you may not, it may not seem like it, or nobody may not understand, but just the numbers he's putting up is unbelievable. And he's just become an even better leader. And last year he was kind of quiet to himself, but this year, I mean, he's just being more vocal and talking to us and just giving his thought. And I think that's the biggest thing. The last thing, three point shooting. What was your routine, you know, in the off season to improve the way that you did? Yeah, I mean, I think not just me, but just everybody. I mean, we're just in the gym getting extra shots out. Um, I think just going in there, being confident, and just doing what we normally do. I mean, last year, we're, we were all great, great three-point shooters. I mean, we just ball didn't go in. Um, all of us were should have made shots, and we didn't. And this year, just getting in more reps, and I think it's helped out a lot. That's an interesting point that you just made. I was talking to Fletcher about the fact that we know what happened last year and for his guard play, which is a total different story. 
How much did you take personally in himself as well to, you know, to, to raise your game to get you guys where you are now? Yeah, I think we both love that. I think when people doubt us and tell us we can't do something, I think that both made us really work hard and kind of understand, like, hey, if me and him are playing well, it's going to be really hard for a team to stop us because you got to worry about us and then you got Zach down low. So, I mean, I think... Once we kind of realized that, and last year, I mean, freshman, you can make the excuse you're freshman, but I don't see it as that. I mean, we're all there for the for the for a reason. So I think we should just seen that a little bit earlier, and I think we were realized a little bit earlier we've been fun. He has a lot of coaches around the country. They'll talk about Matt Painter and the respect they have for him. There's one coach they would like to see if it's not themselves to be Matt Painter. Yeah. I know you want to get there as a player, but as far as, as, far as your coach, how much do you want to win this thing for him and get to the final? Yeah, I mean, we want to win this thing for him so bad. I think just all the bad luck he's had, and I mean, he, he does everything the right way. And I mean, he's, he's honest, he's truthful, he's just done everything the right way. And when you see someone like that um, and has had bad luck like him, you just want it more for him. So we're going to play our butts off and hopefully that help him out a little bit. You always hear, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Yeah. This team's ranked number one in the country at one point in this year. Give me your thoughts on just going up against Tennessee. and just I'm sure you welcome this challenge, right? Yeah, no, it's definitely going to be a challenge. I mean, like we said earlier, I mean, they're number three defensively uh, in all the country. So, I mean, it's going to be tough by the way. And I think if we just pass and catch the right way and get to our spots offensively, I think we'll be fine. And I think one thing that's impressed me about you guys is how even kill you've been in these games. You saw what happened last week. Last night, down at some point, just taking it, it seems like, you know, every possession by possession. Is that the mindset with you guys right now doing this March Madness run? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a long game. And the first half, I mean, sometimes we take a little bit to settle in. But I think once we get out in that second half and we truly lock in defensively, it just opens up everything else offensively. And we're able to get those stops and able to push it, kick it ahead, fledge for threes, lands for layups. I mean, whatever it is, it just makes everything so much easier. Final question here. Um, we caught it Mackey South last week, back in your hometown. Now you're up here, Mackey North. Fans showed up last night. How how beneficial to play to play in the in front of Boilermakers fans, and how helpful have they been? Man, yeah, I think it's just along with the questions there, like people want it bad for Coach Paint. I mean, like you see these fans, like they want it bad too. Because I mean, it, it sucks for them to have to deal with the same thing. And like obviously for us, like we're not going out there every year trying to do that. You know, like we're we're out there working our butts off every year, and it's a long year. So I mean, just seeing people out there supporting us and truly want us to win and see us be great. Um, even though when everybody else sees us as the villain for some reason. But, I mean, it's it's unbelievable to go out in a game like this that's neutral site and it's basically a home, home game. I know you can't put too much pressure on yourself, but you've been from Indiana. You know the situation for Purdue, trying to get to the final four. Um, what, what is, like, the mindset for this team as you go into a, a big matchup like this? Yeah, no, I just see it as just one game at a time. I think we all see it at that. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough game in general. So, I mean, I think we just got to stick to what we do. And I think if we play the Purdue way that we normally have, um, we should be good. You kind of mentioned it, but is it weird that people, for some reason, view Purdue as a villain? You say it yourself. Is that something yeah. you guys have been conscious of? And I mean, I, Can you wrap your head around it at all? I mean, personally, I love it. I like it. I like when people doubt us because I think, I mean, for some reason, people want to doubt. I don't understand why people are the way they are and and doubt us. I mean, we're, we're one of the nicest guys, nicest teams that you could probably ever be around and watch. And it's just, I mean, it obviously sucks a little bit, but at the same time, like, you got to embrace it. Like, it's it's nice to have people rooting against you because that means you're doing something right. And so I, it is something that's driving you guys to a certain for sure. For sure. I mean, I don't think everybody will tell you that, but I think deep down, I think, it's definitely gives you a little extra boost. What do you sell recruits on when you're talking to them? 